Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn your iOS or Android device into a wireless mouse. The application I'm going to be using is called Remote Mouse. You'll need to download that application both on your desktop and on your mobile device. It'll work on your iPhone, your iPad, your Android device, and for desktops, it'll work on your Windows and on your Mac. So behind you can see my Mac and you can see that I have Remote Mouse downloaded. You can find it in the App Store. And I also have Remote Mouse on my iPhone 6 here. So you can see it there. So once you have the application on your device, you're going to want to open it up. And it'll then search for your computer. Make sure that both devices are on the same Wi-Fi network. So there you can see it's connected. And so now I'm just going to move around. And you should see the mouse moving around on the computer in the back. And you can see it there. It's moving around. If I want to click on something, if I want to left click, I can just tap once. And with two fingers, you can right click. Uh, here at the top, you'll find several icons. So let me start off with the first one, where you can shut down your device, you can put it to sleep, you can restart it, and you can also log off your profile. The next one are media controls. This you can use to control your iTunes and Hulu. Uh, this is a paid feature, so you'll need to purchase it. If you try to tap anything, it'll tell you to get it. The next one is your dock. So if you tap on your dock, you'll see all of the apps that are open. So if I want to tap on iTunes, you can see that it appears up there. If something is closed, you can open it, but you cannot close any apps uh, in this section. And finally, you've got the keyboard. If you scroll your mouse over a text field, you can enter text here and enter it in the back, as you can see. Oh. Now we can head over to the settings. So if you tap on this four dash menu, you can see some of the free features. You should also be careful because here there are things like Spotify Remote, which are paid apps. It does not show how much it costs, but if you tap on Get and if you have Touch ID enabled, all it takes to purchase it is just pressing your finger down on the home button. So make sure you're careful with that. If you go to settings, you can add a volume button control. You can change the tracking speed, the scrolling speed. You can enable and disable secondary click to finger scroll, uh, zooming in and out and other features. So you can go through this. You can also change the wallpaper of the mouse and you can go into your own photo gallery and set a photo. All right, well, that's it. Thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex. All right, thanks guys.